Hey guys, um, I am going to do a tutorial for you on a nail look that I did earlier. I actually filmed it a little bit earlier. Um, it looks like this, and it's just a nude nail with a design on my ring finger. Um, for this look, I use the new uh, Sally Salon Nail Effects. See that? And this one is in number 360, which is laced up. Looks like this. Um, it comes with the strips of nails. Um, they come in a little package like this. You get eight in each package, and you get two packages in each box. It also comes with a wooden cuticle tool like with this. It has a flat end on this side and then a pointy end on that side. And then also a nail file with a rough side and a smooth side. Um, and that's that's basically all you use for it. A um, couple things. It does say that your hand, you should use warm hands when you're doing it. I also read online that some people have blow dried their hands um, before if your hands are cold for whatever reason or you can't get them warm. Um, that, yeah, they put a blow dryer and uh, on their hands or on their nails to warm it up. Make sure your nails really, really clean before you apply it. Uh, so just make sure you get everything, all the dirt and oil off of that, off of the nail. And uh, yeah, you just apply it. So it's, it was really simple. It kind of took a while um, for me to figure it out at first, but uh, overall really simple. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. I haven't used it on, I didn't use it on all my nails obviously, but um, I'm going to get a couple other designs and try it out. The other nail color that I have on there is just a beige uh, nude taupe color. That would look really nice with the lace. Um, I used Essie's Jazz. Like that. Really pretty color. I like it a lot. So, yeah, I hope you guys find it useful. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, just leave them down in the comment bar. And hopefully you guys like it. And uh, I apologize now for the shoddy uh, camera angles. Unfortunately, it was hard for me to figure out how to get my camera situated so that I could uh, get you guys the best angles on um, so. Eight. There's 16 in a box. And then they come in eight like this, these little strips. And I guess they figure one for each of your nails. Uh, today I'm actually only going to put it on one of my nails. And also there's two sides on each strip. So there's two different sizes. If you notice, this and this side are slightly wider, one slightly wider than the other. So you're supposed to fit, you know, whichever one fits closest to your to your nail um, or whatever you think would fit closest. Choose the side that works best and you're going to pull the silver tab off like that. Um, like I said, I've already painted my nails in Essie's Jazz. Looks like this. I just thought it would look really nice with it. Um, I've chosen the strip that I'm going to use, which is this one. And I've already taken off the plastic cover, which it looks like. Okay, so apparently I was supposed to peel this off first before I pulled the tab off. That probably would have been smart. So you peel it off. It looks like this. Beige on the back. And I'm just going to put it on my nail, like so, it's really sticky. And trying to hold it. And then once you put it on, it says to stretch it out. As you can see, there's like a ton extra, which actually really seems like a waste if you have a, a tiny nail. I wonder if I can use both sides. So you know what? Actually, what I'm going to do, so I just end up using one, I'm going to take a small scissors and cut this right above where my real nail is and I'm going to use this other side see if it'll work for my other nail so I'm going to place that on there along the cuticle edge like so 
It's a lot harder on my other using my left hand than it is my right hand. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Just using one for two. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one that I did on the other one. To rub against the nail edges so that it really forms to your nail. Let's move over the nail. And then it says to just bend it over the nail and file away the excess. But you use, you know, doing this. And I'm just doing like a downward motion to make sure that I get it, you know, over the edge of the nail. And that seems to be the best way to do it, I'm assuming. And then just get on the edge here. And this little piece came off. And voila. Let's just get my camera so you guys can see a little bit better. Yes, I was my camera was sitting on top of my new moon book. And this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty cool. It's really, really easy to do. Um I guess I'm just wondering how long it'll last. It says on the box here. Um see that last up to 10 days hmm so we'll see so yeah this is what it looks like so yeah so it's really not that hard um, I will do a review on this a little later um, and see how well it lasts and all that jazz. So yeah, there's it again. Thanks for watching, guys.